everybody. Laura here for another adventure. A really good friend of mine told me about an awesome field trip she took to go to a place where she could bake clay pots and even use a pottery wheel. So here we are outside the Northern Clay Center where she went to make her pots. Let's go in and check it out. Come on, guys. Hi, I'm Laura from oh, Children's hi. and these are all my friends. Hi. What's your name? I'm Amy. Hi, Amy. Well, we're here today just to kind of check out what goes on here at the Northern Place Center. Would okay. you be willing to give us a little tour? I would love to give you a tour. All right, so this is our sales gallery where we have about 55 different artists from all over the country that sell their ceramic art. We want you to be able to touch things and look around at all the different sides and see how it feels in your hands. Oh, wow. This is so cool. There's so many different kinds of pots in here and there's mugs. What else do people make? Well, they make big teapots. Oh, wow. This one. Cup of tea, anyone? <laughs> and little covered jars with animals and <gasps> lizards on top. Oh, it's a lizard. That's sweet. Oh, I like that one. I really like this stuff up here. Those are all sorts of different people and animals, and they all have funny names. Person standing on a pink animal with a white animal in the rear. In the rear. <laughs> So you can see. Whoa, it's like a pink cow. And some. This is really cool. Guys, let's go check out this. This looks really neat. Wow, look at this, you guys. I think I get it. Look over here. It's fall, winter, spring. See all the flowers and the birds? And summer with the grasshoppers. Look at these handles, you guys. I wonder how they do this stuff. Amy, do you think we could maybe go take a closer look and see how some of this stuff is made? Definitely, we can go in the back where all of our classrooms are and I can show you some examples. <gasps> Let's go get our hands dirty. Come on, guys. All right, so we're gonna go back and learn a little bit about hand building. So there's some really fun, cool. easy things and I'll introduce you to my friend, Addie. Oh, who's working on a pinch pot? Hi, Addie, I'm Laura. Hi. So what's the first thing we need to do here? Um, first of all, you have to make the ball if you have it already. And we will pick one. Okay, I'll take this one. Yep, and then we'll just pat it between our hands. Okay. Until we get it as round as you want it to be. It's like a big meatball. Okay. And then when you're ready to start making a pinch pot, that's what these are, you take your thumb. Okay. And you just squish it down in. your other two Finger. fingers and very slowly it starts to become a bowl. So you can see on the inside that my thumbprint is there and then my fingers are on the outside. You can see that we have little cracks. Mm -hmm. What do we do to get rid of those cracks? You can take your thumb or your finger and you can just kind of rub them out. Okay. Uh -huh. So a little bit of water will help because the cracks happen when the clay is starting to get a little dry. I feel really relaxed and this is really fun. One thing that you can do when it's still really wet is you can paint it with what we call stains. And a stain is kind of thick and gloppy. What's the difference between this and just regular paint? Well, this is actually made out of clay that's been oh. thinned out with water. So you add water mm -hmm. to make it more your clay really thin and then you add colors. So oh. it's different types of clays that have been colored and this is what they look like after they've been fired and clear glazed. What do you mean after they've been fired? Well, we put it in a kiln and it bakes everything. It's okay. like a big toaster oven almost. Very, very cool. Well, let's paint. Are you ready to start painting yours, Addie? Yes, I am. Okay, so our, which color do you want to use? I'm going to use yeah. turquoise. Okay, then I'll start with purple. So really, I mean, it's hard to believe. I'm painting with this kind of gray looking paste and when we put it in the kiln, Right? Like the big oven, it's gonna end up looking more like which of these colors? It's gonna look like this one, this purpley wow. color. 
that's such a huge difference. When we put everything in the kiln, this clay gets lighter. Oh. It will be a little bit lighter. So that makes this slip, this purple, a little bit more bright. So this color here, this kind of la green, will become this bright turquoise. Here at the Northern Clay Center, do people mostly come here to make pinch pots and do things like this? Or is there other things that people do with the clay? We have a lot of people that come here for hand building and making pinch pots. But if you want to make something really round, like we were talking about before, you can use the wheel. Do you think we could check one out? Yeah, let's go. Okay. All right, so the wheels are this way, right around the corner. All and right. I'm going to finish helping Ali make her pinch pot. Sounds great. Thanks so much, You're Amy. Welcome. I appreciate it. Have fun. Thanks, we will. Bye. Bye. Now that we've played with some clay, I want to find someone to teach us a little bit about the pottery wheel if we can. So let's check over this way. I think I see someone. Come on, you guys, let's check it out. Hey! Hi, I'm Laura. Hi, I'm Elizabeth. Hi, Elizabeth. These are all my friends at Hello. Children's. And we're just here today kind of hanging out, learning how to make some clay. We've done some um, hand building. Yeah. And I was wondering if you could teach us some things on the wheel. Sure. I would be glad to. Um, I've been getting my clay ready to put on the wheel, so I've cut it. And I'm just pounding it now into balls. Yeah. Which, yeah, do you want to do one? Sure. What do I have okay. to do? We have to cut the clay first. What are you using to cut this? It's called a wire tool. It's just a big wire with a couple of something or others on the end. I can't remember what they're Little wooden toggles. Yes, thank you. So you're just gonna pound that into a ball. Okay, so just, yeah, hit it. And sometimes when you're making pots, it's you wanna make them all the same size. And the trick to doing that is to start with the same size ball. Okay. So I'm weighing them too. Ah. And just checking to see that they're all roughly about the same size. Okay, how much so, do yours weigh? Uh, mine weigh. About a pound. Usually I use a pound and a half to make a bowl, and I can show you how to make a bowl on the wheel if you want. <gasps> Let's do it. Okay, okay. So this is an electric wheel, and it has a pedal that you can push, kind of like a go-kart, and then um, to stop it, you take your foot off the pedal and push it back. The first thing that you do is you take the ball of clay and you throw it down in the center, and it's really important pound it down because you don't want it to go flying off when you ah. turn the wheel. And then I usually mound it into a little cone just because I'm pre-starting it. Okay. So you would want to get your hands wet All right. next and you get the, the clay wet and you go really fast, like the fastest your car will drive when you're centering. So this is called centering and I'm coning it up and then I'm bringing it down into a mound that's shaped a little bit like a mushroom top. Okay. It looks kind of like chocolate or mud while you're playing. Yes, it. yes it does. What does it feel like? Um, it's really slippery and... <laughs> <laughs> it feels like you're playing in mud. <laughs> You guys like playing in oh, mud? Yeah. Oh yeah, I love I playing you in mud. Do. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right. So, so the next thing that I do after I have it centered is I drill. And so I'm gonna take this thumb and make a hole. That's so cool. And you're not even moving your hand; you're just pushing it down. Yeah. In fact, I don't want to move it because then I'll knock it off center. Then to make a bowl, um, you're gonna open by making it into a V. And again, all of my hands and arms are working together. And you notice that every time I get a little bit more water, or I use the slip on my hands. Okay. And what are you doing with the sponge? Well, I'm using it to get up too much water. I don't want the water to pool in there because then it'll make the clay soggy. And I still have to raise the wall. I don't want it to be soggy. Okay. So I press in with my outside hand and then I resist with my inside hand. And the clay has nowhere to go but up because I'm pushing in and then raising. So I'm gonna push at the bottom and then resist on the inside. And I always 
want to leave a little clay at the top so that I have a lip if I'm making a bowl. So now I'm ready to take this off and I can just... Um, and then you carefully move it. Yeah. And, and then I just leave it because right now this is at the stage of clay that we call wet clay. Yeah, I was going to see if maybe could I try it yeah. and see what it, how hard it really is. No, yeah, you can definitely try it. Oh, okay. In and down. This is fun. Close. I still see your elbow. Alright, let's get it. This is not as easy as it looks. <laughs> she makes it look so simple. This is a lot of muscle. But I think if I practice some more, it's okay. Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm gonna leave this to the experts for today. <laughs> Maybe you can show us some cool pots that you can make. Sure, or just yeah. I'll easy. show you some more. Elizabeth, thank you so much for showing us how to do this. I can shake your hand or both dirty. And maybe we can go find someone who can help us figure out what happens when it needs to be fired, right? Sure. Yeah. All right. Well, guys, let's go. And maybe you want to give me a high five on the way? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> on over here. It looks like she's making a teapot. Hi, what's your name? Hi, I'm Jean. Jean? Wow. Is this a teapot that you're making? This is a, yes, this is a teapot and I have a little uh, strainer there <gasps> and then a little spout or a little lid there for that. Hi, what's your name? Sharon. Oh, Sharon. So what are you working on? I'm making a colander. Wow. That's so really somebody. impressive. Drain is it? their fruit. Oh, perfect. You can clean your fruit and vegetables. Mm -hmm. It's really fun. So we have camps here during the day where kids get to hang out and learn how to make our hand built clay and I think use the wheels too. And it looks like these are the, some of the pieces that are waiting to go into the kiln. This one looks like a basket. There's some snails right here. And some really cool boxes. These kids are doing a great job. All right, let's head over to the kiln and see what's going on over there. Hey, look guys, it's Amy again. Hey, Amy. Hi, Laura. What are you doing over here? Well, I'm finishing up unloading this kiln. Ah. So remember how the stains are gonna change colors? Well, this is what they look like after they've been fired once. Whoa, one time. Is it going in there more than once? It's gonna go in there one more time. Wow. And then when it comes out, it will be really shiny. How does it turn shiny the second time it goes in? Well, we're gonna put something called a clear glaze on top of it. What's glaze mean? But a clear glaze, it's almost like a mix of all sorts of different chemicals that you mix together like a recipe. Oh, neat. So how do these kilns work? Well, these are electric kilns. Okay. So they plug into the walls. Why don't you guys just have regular ovens like we use at home? Why well, do you have to have this? The ovens that you use at home don't get hot enough. 
how hot do these things get? Well, right now, this was just programmed, and it's already at 175 oh. degrees. This one that has the hot sign on it is already going up to almost 560 degrees. Whoa. That's really, really hot. Yeah. And we have another kind of kiln that's called a gas kiln, and those can get up to 2,000 degrees. 2,000 degrees? Mm -hmm. That's like that's like touching the sun. They can withstand that heat, and it actually helps make them stronger. So cool. And what happens when you get that hot is that the glazes that you put on become liquid. And all of these cool chemical reactions happen, and that's what everything becomes shiny and bright colors and that's what can help change the color so much so from this very very kind of drab dull blacks to really bright shiny glossy blacks it all happens when you're firing this has been such a fun day thank you so much Amy for showing us around welcome and I'm, getting to make pots and everything well I'm glad you got fun and I made this for you in advance so you'd have something to take home with you today oh as a way to remember your time at the Play Center. Oh, well, thank you so much, Amy. Welcome. And also thanks to Elizabeth, our teacher on the wheels, yes. right? Yes. And just remember, guys, when you're nine, you can maybe come here to the Northern Clay Center and you guys have summer camps that people can take or just come in and hang out and make something cool like this star bowl I have right here. Or you could just get some Play-Doh and hang out and make some pinch pots, right? Right. It'd be so much fun. Thanks, guys. Oh, and just check out before I go some of the really cool stuff that kids have been making at their camps here. All right, guys, that's all for this adventure. I'll see you next time. But for now, I gotta take my pot home, figure out what I'm gonna do with it. Hmm.